you guys. So I brought in the loofah harvest this year. The vines got frozen early and so um, it's not a very good harvest and a lot of them are a little bit damaged, but that's okay. Um, I decided to make this video just to mainly be about showing you how I clean them so that you can get a good sponge, um, but also it's just a, a great plant that I think everyone should grow. So uh, loofah egyptica is a large tropical vine and it makes not only these sponges that we can use in the shower or in the sink, but it also makes food. So if you catch the loofah when it's young and tender, when it's still tubular shaped, about the diameter of maybe a um, half dollar, um, then they're actually sweet, they're not bitter. And as they get older, they get a lot of saponin soapiness uh, into their taste pretty quick. So um, yeah, it's just a plant that's uh, perfect for cleaning things up. Now, um, you can see there's a lot of different colors here. Um, when you are harvesting a loofah for a sponge, the ideal color would be right here, kind of like a, um, a yellowy orange. And what happens is as the sponge is developing inside, it has to toughen up, it has to get to a certain size, but you want to catch it before they get fully brown because you get a lot of discoloration um, with it going brown as it dries out inside it will be a brown sponge instead of that nice white one that you often see in a shower now the way loofah works in nature is they hang up high from a tree and they fully dry out and then at the end there's like a little um, cap so to speak that will just get knocked off so just be like that and then all of the seeds will come out the bottom so here they come and so when you're harvesting the loof it's a great time to harvest the seeds um, so we'll start with this brown one um, they're pretty easy to peel and actually this one still looks pretty white so the whole reason to grab them just a little bit early is because uh, they may turn brown but this one is still retained a lot of its good color um, there's a little bit of the brown kind of creeping in near the top but it's totally filled with those seeds still. So the next step is to bang it into a bucket and you can see seeds just flying out. But this is the way you wanna clean your loofah, just bang it around. Now, there's oftentimes a few seeds that get lodged up here at the top and if you spray them, because you're gonna have to spray this now, if you spray them, they can sometimes dislodge and you can get it again later, but seeds flying out still. Um, so here are the seeds. I'm gonna collect a lot of seeds, but then the very next step, or really the last step in this process, is to really wash off all of the kind of um, sticky, um, fleshy residue that's left. All of that needs to get washed off right away because that will discolor. That's the main thing. When that dries, it's brown instead of white. So having a hose handy and just rinsing it off. Now, I don't know if you can see the edge of the table, but what's so cool about it, even on the surface, so this fleshiness is full of saponins, like a soapiness that will actually like You'll feel it in your hands like this plant is so designed for cleaning, it's crazy. So the whole table was all foamy because of all of the uh, residue. So just really be thorough, get the seeds out. And this usually takes like, take a full you know minute on each one to really wring it out and, and scrub it off. The younger they are, the harder it's going to be to clean off the fibers. It won't dislodge quite as easily if they're on the green side or a little young, so you might have to work harder to, to break it off. All right, and now I'm gonna hold it real close. So hopefully you can see the, uh, the fibers there. They're so much cleaner. So 
So now all it needs to do is have those last few seeds shaken out and, um, and then it needs to be dried. So it needs to be air dried. So I'm just gonna toss it in my bucket down there and I'm gonna clean one really good one. So, um, or maybe we'll do one, you know, immature, like a little green. Um, but this one looks pretty good. So I use my, well, you wanna like crack the skin a little bit because you're not wanting to cut the sponge underneath. So you might need something sharp to get in or you might be able to just rip it. Um, and then you just slide a thumb and just slide it in. If you slide your thumb um, with your nail against the skin, it should peel off and you can get in there without damaging the sponge. So you're just kind of like trying to separate it. Like if you were um, uh, eviscerating a chicken, you might want to separate you know, that skin, that membrane um, from the inside and pull it, everything out. So this one, because it was much younger, is like I said a little bit tougher the uh, fleshiness is still grabbing on to all of the sponge fibers there's a lot more um, meat in it but this will be a nice white sponge even if it's a little bit less stiff that's the only downside of going early so these all froze that's why they're all a little early but this will have less um, rigidity if it's a little bit too early so um, I'm gonna shake out some seeds first it can happen at either, either stage. And then I'm gonna wash it. Look at that lather. How cool is that? So. seeds inside but that'll be a good looking sponge so all right you guys so I got a few done and I wanted to just show you the colors one last time so this is the kind of color that would come out of uh, a yellowy uh, green like these um, there are some like this that are very um, less rigid and that comes from being too far to the green side um, and then ones that are a little darker just means that they were allowed to dry inside of the um, casing and that's why they're gonna always be a little bit darker brown so it's um, you know you can kind of compare the color difference there for just catching them a little bit early on the yellow side yellow to brown versus fully dried brown but they're all nice I have a lot of good ones um, that are gonna be some good uh, Christmas gifts and it's just an amazing plant so I really think you should grow it it what I love every time is just how it's so like perfect for having the soap and the sponge and, and nature just does that by design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.